I don't know if you've noticed this, but SoftBite is kind of suck in Blender. Let's fix it. So first we want to delete the default cube and just add a new one. And now we want to subdivide this cube a bunch of times to add some more geometry and we can add a soft bodies property. And we can view what it does. It just bobs up and down. How amazing is this? Anyways, to uh, fix this, we're just going to use close, uh, just like anyone else, add a plane with a collision and we can view our cube falling apart. So this is not what we want, this is not what soft bodies do. If you know anything about soft bodies, you know they inflate themselves. And we can do that with the cloth as well. You can just go to pressure and take the pressure up to 10. This is basically like inflating what's inside. So inflating a uh, football or something. And the pressure is how much pressure is in the football. So if we play this, we can see it uh, kind of inflates itself and now it bounces which is uh, really cool actually. But we can do more with the cloth modifier. We can increase the vertex mass. So every vertex is now three kilograms and it will kind of bounce more and be dented. And this is really cool. You can use this to make uh, pillows by adding a plane uh, and just subdividing it a bunch of times. You can just uh, add a cloth Go back to the first frame, add some pressure. Now you have one of those really easy um, couch pillows. And that's how you make them. If you want to uh, get this geometry to the real world, so not a simulation, which it just disappears. What you can do is just uh, press Control A and a virtual geometry to mesh and now it will apply the cloth modifier and it will apply the geometry of the the frame we were on this project file will be on my gumroad as well under the creator support so if you want this you can go there it really supports the channel and it helps me make more videos like these in the future so you can just add this one subdivide it uh, a bunch more times add a cloth and add some pressure let's set it to uh, 10 you can see this ball now. And the cool thing about this is you can actually interact with it. Unlike uh, soft bodies, which don't do anything. You can bounce this uh, ball up and down. So this is really a, a soft ball. I wouldn't want to kick this. So let's set it to 25. Go back. It's still a little bit soft for my liking. This is a better ball. We can just play with this. Maybe even make a uh, cool animation with this. And we can make this a little bit better by going into sculpt mode and selecting the cloth brush here. And we can just uh, basically just move our mouse a little bit and it will give some wrinkles. If you think there are too many wrinkles, you can press Shift S and it will grab the smooth brush and you can just smooth out those wrinkles if we just add a cube again and subdivide this and just set it up again with the pressure set to 10 vertex mass 1 we can see it's uh, pop up and down and we can deform a mesh with this so if you want uh, something else a more complex mesh to do this but we don't want to add some uh, cloth modifier because it it it's uh, really heavy on our machine. We can just use this as a boundary. So let's say for some reason I want to <laughs> do that with this uh, a mule um, model. I can just add the cube and just move it in there. And make sure it's fully concealed. So either make the cube bigger or just your subject a little bit smaller. And now in the modifiers we can add a mesh to form and select our cube it's useful to just bake this so you don't get a different result every time you do this and just go back to the meal now and we can click bind so now that it's bind we can just hide our cube and watch this really funny animation So as we can see, 
the mule follows our cube and it mimics what the soft body does. So for this to work a little bit better on our mule, we might just need to make a new cube that fits our mule a little bit better. So something like this. Now if you add a cloth and pressure, then so I want something like this so it drops in and just um, stand still. This is really good. I want to bake this. And go back to our mule. Mesh the form. And select our cube and bind. So now we can hide our cube. And look at this animation. So maybe something like this. With the mass set to 1. Yeah, this works a little bit better. Of course this isn't something I would do in animations, but it's just uh, funny for the video. So I hope this video helps and I'll leave this uh, in my Gumroad page for you to download. And I will see you next time.